So this is pretty exciting. Um, I am now running Sonar Chart Live with my Humminbird units uh, using a digital yacht uh, sonar server. And how I'm doing that is pretty easy. So I've mounted my um, iPad with a Ram X mount. And as you can see, I am ripping down some data, updating my charts using the sonar chart. So basically the sonar server connects wirelessly uh, with my iPad. And of course I've downloaded all the maps and everything. So uh, it's, it's working wonderfully. And then it's connected through a NEMA 0183 cable through my Humminbird um, Helix 9 G3N had to move some cables around a bit I actually put the GPS cable hooked up direct with my uh, charting unit uh, but this is actually really really cool um, so you might ask well Brian why, why don't you just use uh, um, auto chart live believe me I'm a hummingbird guy through and through love auto chart live the problem with auto chart live is it doesn't ask you to uh, adjust for the tides so as you can see I'm mapping 15 feet but I'm actually in 21 feet because it's adjusting for the tide um, I hooked up a sonar server on my boat um, I have two hummingbird helix uh, nines uh, one of the nines is a gen 1 and the other one is a uh, gen 3 networkable Basically what the sonar server does is it gives you the ability to um, send your depth and GPS data to uh, a mobile device and therefore through the, the Navionics app you can actually use it in much the same manner that you could use AutoChart Live on your Humminbird unit. Big difference being uh, you can actually um, chart using the um, local tide stations so it'll actually chart at mean low instead of charting in real time um, so if you're in eight feet of water auto chart live will show you in eight feet of water sonar server using the navionics app will show you um, uh, what mean low looks like so today i was out and i was in 22 feet of water but it was charting the bottom on the app at, uh, I believe it was 15 feet or something, but you'll see it on the video. So there's two different ways you can hook this up. First way is getting an ASHH GPS cable. Now I have, I had an issue because I have a, um, a GPS puck. Now the big difference with the, the puck is this comm cable is the same comm cable for the HHGPS. Now, of course, I have two units, so what I opted to do was just hook my um, GPS puck into my Gen 1 Helix 9. And of course, they're all networked, and this worked fine. It does share all this information anyways, so uh, I hooked this into my, um, my Gen 1, and then I bought this HHGPS cable, and I hooked up the sonar server just like this green to black white to yellow and then of course uh sonar server also has a um uh, it requires power so i had to run power to my fuse box worked awesome uh now if you do choose if you only have one unit and you do have a puck you can actually choose to use um the pigtail off of the plug um essentially uh, you'd be hooking green here to black. And then the one you want is integrated navigation. You don't want the green wire, you want the white wire. So much in the same manner that you would hook this up, you can hook it up via the pigtail on here. 